Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the sister with me, Grammy Stitch, where we're carrying on with our Dance of the Dragon series as the Blacks this time, as Queen Rhaenyra of the Iron Throne. We did win the Dance of Dragons in the last episode, but then we want to take vengeance on all those who betrayed the rightful Queen and sided with our usurping brother. So we are currently at war with many of those kingdoms after trying to make them forfeit their title so that we're at war with the stormlands we're at war with harrenhal and the strongs we're at war with lord hightower we're at war with the house of Rainhouse. we're at war with um the peaks or the red winds the brackens and the lannisters so we're at war with a lot of powerful houses but then we also have most of the kingdoms on our side as well as our dragons so it should be fairly straightforward for us and we're going to punish those houses that were not loyal to us and that then we're also going to reward those houses that were loyal to us so we're going to try and arrange some nice marriage packs for those who have been loyal we did arrange a marriage i believe with the mandalays it was for which mandalay was it for again it was was it his heirs it was one of his heir's daughters, weren't it? Was it Celine Mandela? Yes, she is betrothed to Prince Viserys. It would have been nice to do one with the Starks, but little Lord Rickon is only one, and Lord Paramount Craig and Stark is already, unfortunately, married. Unless we can try and break that marriage. Brandon Stark... Okay, who's Brandon Stark? Is that his brother, or is it his cousin? Who Who is Brandon Stark to you? Arrange a marriage. Let's have a look. Brandon Stark. Who are you? Must be some sort. It uh, must be a cousin or something. So his father had. No, oh, okay. Siblings: Lord Bernard of the North. Aha! And then it's his son, Benjamin Stark, and Brandon Stark. So they're cousins, but we could arrange a marriage to him so but it's not of the main line is he so i think we'll leave that for now and we'll try and find a match for him later on the um house dondarian is staying very loyal to us there was loyal to us before and they're remaining loyal even with the stormlands uprising so and he's only 19 and unmarried so i'm going to reward him we are going to give him the stormland so he's going to be the new Lord Paramount of the Stormlands once we bring down this war. So let's reward him for his loyalty by giving him one of our cousins. So do we give him Bela or Raina? Well, Bela's the more feisty one, isn't she? And she's also a dragon rider. Raina is the kinder, more patient one. So we'll give we'll give him the nicer one. And we can't force that to happen, unfortunately. What about his sister? No, we can't make that happen either, which is quite annoying. Why can't we do I thought we'd be able to force that to happen because they are in our in our custody, but we're not going to be able to do that, so we're going to have to look for matches elsewhere. What about Benjakot Blackwood? I absolutely love this character in um, The Dance with Dragons and in Fire and Blood. He sounds like a complete badass for such a young kid, but can we arrange a betrothal for him between him and one of the twins? No, we can't. Which is also disappointing because that's what I wanted to do. So who who can we reward then by uh, marrying into? I suppose we could always marry one of the Blackwood women instead. Alera Blackwood who is 14. We could arrange a marriage between her and one of our sons. Um, let's go for Lucaris Valerion. Yes, there we go. So we'll make that match. So that rewards the Blackwoods who were very loyal to us. A lot of the uh, Riverland Lords were extremely loyal to us but so were a lot of the reach lords as well especially the rowan so let's have a look he's got a lot of children i'm guessing his older ones will be married so what about matthias rowan okay he's already betrothed um what about your brother raymond rowan 10 years old can we arrange a betrothal between you it's going to say no again isn't it for the sisters and you haven't got any sisters so we can't marry one of your sisters to one of our sons which is a shame who else was loyal to us the tarlies were loyal i believe so is there a tarly princess for us to marry to you're only four years old so ah lady samantha of old town ah 
Okay, so she's married to the Lord of the Old Town, so that's not going to work. Ah, but we do have Sansara Tala, so we... Wow, she's got pretty good, decent traits as well. Diligent and strong, proud. Look, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can arrange a betrothal between you and one of our sons. Isn't Joffrey already betrothed? Maybe not. So we'll go with Joffrey Valerion for the Tarlis to reward the Tarlis. The Tyrells didn't get involved, so we'll leave them to it for now. The house... Footley and Tumbleton did join us, and they're on our side now as well, but he's already married, and yeah, his sisters are a lot older, so they're both going to be married. So who have we still not found a match for? Chikaris, our heir, Chikaris. Um, who else? Alan, or oh, is Valerian, is not our actual heirs. Um, we got one for Lucaris, and I believe we got one for Joffrey, didn't we? Prince Aegon. Who actually does end up being Aegon the Third? We haven't got a match for him. Let's have a look throughout. Let's actually go on the fine characters in our realm. Gender, women, married, no. And we'll look for some decent matches for our um for our sons, right? Nettles, silverware. Well, we don't want to marry to a dragon, do we? Search all. Yeah, we can't actually search our realm fully at the moment because we're at war, aren't we? So, unfortunately, we can't arrange... She's not widowed, is she? Not at the moment, but we can't force a marriage with her, which is annoying. Normally you can, but unfortunately we can't. It would have been nice to arrange a marriage between her and one of our sons for the Targaryen blood. Maybe we can do it with one of our cousins though maybe so let's go back to our eldest son can we arrange a marriage between him or a betrothal between him sorry because they're not old enough yet can we arrange a betrothal between him and we'll go with Raina because she's the better one and yes we can so we can make that happen and I can't remember if we did one for Joffrey or not Adam Valerion Actually, no, it's Alan Valerion, isn't it, who marries the uh, twin. So let's see if we can do that the same as in the book. Arrange a betrothal between him and Baylor. No, they're not going to have any of that. What about Adam Valerion instead, then? Arrange a betrothal between him and Baylor. Yes, they can. So she's going to marry the brother instead. But it, it keeps that Valerian blood pure, doesn't it? Right, let's unpause and try and bring down some of these civil wars then. Right. We've not got a great amount of men, <laughs> but your grace as a dragon rider of great renown, I do not see it uh, in my self own self-interest to marry Adam Valeria, so I must regrettably decline to fulfil this marriage signed at Baylor Targaryen. Uh, but this was agreed. I command you to wed, so we can force them to marry each other, which we lose. But considering they are our prisoners, oh no, they're not our prisoners, are they? Because they're Damon's children. Uh, but this was agreed. Your Grace, as a dragon rider of great renown, I do not see it in my own interest to marry Baylor Target. Okay, so you don't want to marry either. Fair enough. We'll find uh, different matches for you then. Your Grace, I will honor my alliance and take arms to defend you. Lord Peasborough. Perfect. Awesome. Aemon Targaryen has died causing his uh, dragon Vagar to fly into a rage and establish a lair in Dragonstone. How did Aemon die? Who killed him? Was beheaded on the orders of Storm King Boris of the Stormland. Okay, interesting. I thought he'd use him on his side. So he had a dragon on his side, but fair enough. I'm uh, very surprised about that. Uh, Jacarius Valerian is currently under my control and his relative, Lord Corlys Valerian, is currently opposing it. Is he? Why is Corlys Valerian opposing us? Um... Not his, oh, I'm surprised by that. I didn't realise the sea snake was going against us. I've got no idea why he's doing that. I can't remember which ones we try to make marriages for now. We'll, are any of these actually against us around here? Yes, the army of the kings were there. So let's go and attack those. We'll get, we've got Ulf. We'll go for Damon as a commander. And Nettles. Yes, yeah, so we've got three dragon riders as commanders there. So it'll be easy battles to beat the Balakwaters back here. Uh, the Bywater, sorry. Lucarius Valerian and Alera Blackwood have gotten married, and it is customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. Uh, yes, it's in everyone's concern. Yeah, we do need some money, desperately. 
Interesting though to mix that dragon blood with uh, the old god blood. Your grace, Lord Samuel has sent you the customary amount of gold and silver. 50 coins, perfect. That'll do. That'll do me fine. We should win this battle. Just because of the fact we've got three dragons. Uh, your grace, an enemy host approaches intent on encircling the castle. How? It's not going to be very big, is it? So, uh, the castle is impregnable. Oh no, they've gone to Dragonstone, haven't they? I forgot to change my capital. Ulf White has died, causing his dragon silver wing to fly into a rage and establish a lair in Dragonstone. Something must be done. News from the Battle of Atterdale, Your Grace. Your courtier, Ulf White, has been slain. He was killed in direct combat by the enemy commander, Austin Bywater. How has he managed to let that happen when he's flying a dragon? Let's march back to King's Landing, because we're going to now need to take our ships over to Dragonstone to try and uh, lift the siege over here, aren't we? So... With our dragons, we should be okay. Your half-sister, Princess Helena Targaryen, has died. And now it falls you to decide whether to make a funeral a big and special event or just keep it a small and private one. Small private funeral. She was a traitor. Uh, Lord Harlan Wagstaff of Adderdale was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Perfect. Right, let's march back to King's Landing, please, and get on the ships. I don't think we've got enough ships, which is annoying. Should have more fleets. There we go. We'll let him rot for now. There we go, 93 ships. That'll be more than enough to take us back over to Dragonstone and lift the siege. Okay, there's a Tarf army in King's Landing, which is interesting. Uh, House Swan has decided to come to our aid. Your Grace, I will honour my alliance and take up arms to defend you. Lord Wagstaff of Adderdale. Okay, for that I will agree to ransom. Oh, you haven't got the gold. How much gold do you have? Only 13 coin. Um... We'll release you then, considering you're staying loyal and joining our cause. I'll release you for now. Right, who's actually going to come and attack us? Is anyone going to actually march on us? Your Grace, since I rode in King's Landing, there's never been a shortage of soldiers. That's good news. Who's actually going to attack us? Our courtier Alice, whoever she is, has died. Your Grace, I would honour my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's armies, uh, enemies. Um, Selmond of Lannisport. Maybe the Lannisters of Lannisport will get Casterly Rock then. Right, let's... Land has been consumed by Dragonfire and Nettles is responsible for it. Madness, uh, Daemon Targaryen. The Dragon's Sheep Stealer is a ravenous beast and regularly roams the land. He's a dragon, what do they expect? Right, yeah, we've won this war, so we'll get straight on the ships after... And we've lifted the siege there. Let's get onto the ships and let's sail over to Dragonstone. Petrovka Mary, who's that? Jacaris Valerion and Reyna Targaryen. Yes, send. And so Lucaris is getting married to the has got married to the Blackwood girl, so that's good. And where is our other Joffrey Valerian is betrothed to Sanzara Tala? So, Aegon, you need a bride still, Aegon. Let's arrange a betrothal between you and... There isn't really anybody, is there? Net was the bastard, so we can't do that. Um, we'll have to find a match for you afterwards. Prince Viserys is already betrothed, isn't he? Yes, to a Mandalay. So, most of them have now got matches. Apart, apart from... Baylor... Oh, no, so they are still getting married, these two. Okay, even though they said that they wasn't going to, so I don't really know what's happened there, but whatever, we'll leave them to it for now. Let's take the ships over there with Dragon Riders. 1,500 men. I thought we had more than 1,500 men. We've got Dragon Riders, though, so we should be able to deploy the dragons in battle. Daemon, Nettles, and we'll get ourselves there as well. We'll dock, and we'll use the dragons in a battle. Deploy dragon in battle, Dracaris. The land is consumed by a dragon fire by Queen Rhaenyra Targaryen of the Iron Throne. Yeah, it doesn't matter. At least we will beat them back. Willis tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames and was severely burnt. Good. Whilst doing battle in Dragonstone, Shyrax has been unfortunately wounded. Despite this, you will be able to continue fighting. Oh, typical. It's obviously going to go way against us, but that has uh, has allowed us to win that battle. Fairly easily, thanks to the dragon flame. Become celibate? No. I don't think we've got any risk of dying through having children, have we? So we'll try and have more children if we can. How old are we? 33. We've got we've got plenty of time to have more children, hopefully. Let's siege Driftmark. I'm a bit annoyed that the sea snake's gone against us, really. 
How are we doing in these other battles? Right, so we've near... We're at 52% against um, the Stormlands. So we'll fight this other army on Driftmark. And then we'll probably get that under Siege. Your Grace, I honor my allegiance. Um, okay, House Toy. Perfect. But yeah, we'll, we'll push back this Valerian host again. And then we'll march on Dragonstone, get on the fleet. We'll go to Storm's End to win the siege there. Should be quite straightforward. We should be able to win that fairly easy. We should be able to call up some men on... Oh, we already called up our Dragonstone men. We must have done. There we go, the Battle of Hull. We've won. That should stop them from being able to... Uh, now siege Dragonstone. House Buckler have also come to our aid. Perfect. So most of the Stormlands are now choosing to join us instead. So it's we probably don't need to go to Storm's End, to be honest. We can probably let the Stormlanders bring down their Liege Lord on their own. But there is a massive army of King's Landers here and Harrenhal army, which is marching on King's Landing. Crake Hall have um, decided to stay loyal as well now. Right. Oh, was they about to land their men? How many men are here? There's only 25 galleys, so it can't be that many. Of Old Town men, which are about to land on Dragonstone. We'll take our men... Let's take them to... Back to... Yeah, back to Rosby, King's Landing area. There's only 2,000 men there. We can sail back over and take care of those in a second. For now, we will dock into Chittering Brook, probably. Joanna Lannister is currently under my control, and her relative Lord Commander Tylan Lannister is currently opposing us. We can rightfully execute or imprison her as a warning to our enemies. She is married to Sir Oswald Fossaway, who is heir to the Lordship of Cider Hall, and he is our courtier, so no, it's not her fault. We'll dock in Chittering Brook, and then we will march on this army, getting King's Landing under siege. How are things going up in the Riverlands? Your Grace, I will honour my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne. House Connington, excellent. We'll probably let the Durandans keep Storm's End, but not the Stormlands. We'll let we'll keep House um, Dondarian ruling from Blackhaven. My bodyguard, Sir Harold Drake, has expressed a desire to get married. Okay, Sir Harold Drake. I kind of wanted to have you in the King's Guard. Can we not do that? Um, marry as you please, then, good sir. Right, we've got fifteen hundred men here. Let's march back to King's Landing and deploy the dragons. As soon as we get there. We need to move the capital to King's Landing as well. Let's do that now. It also stops them if they siege Dragonstone. It doesn't really matter too much to us then. And we can stay here and defend the capital. We need more men than what we've got. We don't have many men at all, right? We can call up a few, but not a lot. Your King's God said Mumford Valerian died to come into severe injuries. Well, that's a shame, but hopefully we can get some better King's God members now. Let's deploy Dragon in battle. Dracaris. Sir Jaren tried to slay your dragon and failed, whoever he is. Sir Durin Westerling tried to slay your dragon and failed. What a fool. And he died as well. He was burnt by our dragon. And Master Colin tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames. And he was also killed. Okay, so the dragon is burning a lot of people. And actually managing to kill them, which is cool. Because a lot of the time they managed to get away with it. Your Kingsguard Thailand Lannister, oh, who betrayed us, has also been burnt. So that's good as well. It gets rid of one of the uh, people opposing us. So at least we'll win this battle fairly easily now around King's Landing. And try and bring these rebellions down while we can. Hopefully these Stormlander armies are going to march on to Storm's End and end that siege. How are the other battles going? So the Tyrells are getting Casterly Rock under siege. So that's perfect for us. But the Lannisters do have... One hell of a big host. Are they still at war with the Greyjoys as well? Oh yeah, they're still under siege from the Greyjoys as well, so. Hugh was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. He's not really anyone impressive, but whatever. We'll probably send him to the Night's Watch. The Brackens, I'm surprised they've not been brought down like almost straight away. Ah, it's under siege from the Blackwoods. Who else would be getting it under siege? And the Vale Army look to be marching west. Uh, Marwyn Sarsfield is call, uh, taking up arms against us, which is awesome. Oh, betrothed can Mare, Adam Valerian and Baylor Targaryen. Yes, send. A new Lord Commander of the King's Guard is needed. And he he is traditionally the most senior and able of the seven white cloaks. Who shall fulfill this venerable, uh, venerable duty for their queen? Lord Commander Malentine Valerian, who is 43, but 
he's not really that impressive. Lord Eric Crate uh, Cargoyle. Yeah, it'll be him, definitely. In the throne room, Lord Commander Eric Cargoyle kneels before you to take up his new duty lead of leading the King's Guard, vowing anew to protect your person from all those who may harm you. I'm certain he will be loyal and true. But we're still managing to win this battle, thankfully, pushing back the Stormlanders. Your Grace, as a Dragon Rider of great renown, I do not see it in my self-interest to marry Adam Valerian. So I must regrettably decline to fulfil this marriage. Signed, Baylor Targaryen. But this was agreed. Fine, you can keep your family name. Well, that's not going to please the Valerians because he's the heir to that land. Um, I command you. We could force it. Yeah, I'm going to force it. We'll just force the marriage. He's the heir to that land, so I'm really annoyed still that Corlys is hostile towards the Lannisters. King Jason of the Rock, he's crowned himself king as a... We'll let him rot for now, unless we can send him to the wall now, which I don't think we can. Sell him to slavery, I don't think we... It's a bit harsh, we'll let him rot for now. We're going to win this war fairly easy. Battle of the Red Keep, there we go. And we're at 58% up against Harrenhal as well, so that's good. Where... Is the Northern Armour here? It comes. It's on its way down. Ten thousand on its way down, and then the rest of the host is also marching down. So that's good. They'll be here fairly soon. Small peak armies marching around in the Riverlands, uh, in the, the Reach, who are against us. We're leaving Dawn to their own devices for now, but we probably will conquer Dawn in the future. Whereas in the Greens playthrough, we're obviously leaving Dawn well alone as they did agree to join us. Your bannerman, Lord Hubbard Brune, is currently under threat from external enemies. It's my duty. We'll help him out. Have I really not got more men than this? 55 more. Is that really all the men that I've got? That's not great, is it? Right. We're about to get attacked by someone, so we'll wait here for them to attack us. I really don't know where we should march off to first. Should we just go get Storm's End under siege just to end it? Who's about to attack us? It's not anyone with a great armour. Combat will start in the moment with Lord Corlys of Driftmar. Ah, so he's docking his men, is he? Okay. We'll just deploy the dragon then as soon as you land, you absolute idiots. Your Grace have collected an ample tax revenue. Awesome, 10 gold, but we're still heavily in debt. We really need to uh, try and sort that out once the war is over. 2,000 men. We're probably not even going to need to use the dragon because we have three dragon riders anyway. Nettles has consumed the landing dragon fire yet again. Let's march. Let's just march on to Storm's End after this and get that out of the way. Get one of the major wars out of the way. It's one of the most powerful people we're fighting against, isn't it? So we may as well get that out of the way. Land the um, Dondarians. Giving us a more secure army over in the east there. Your Grace, I will honour my allegiance and take up arms. Awesome. House Brax, another Westerland house turning against the Lannisters. So we should be able to bring the Lannisters down now, thankfully for that. And the Lannisters are getting absolutely smashed by a Reach army there anyway. Lord Corlys, is Val uh, Lord, Lord Corlys Valerian's treason is one thing, but that a Valerian stands beside the Iron Throne carrying the very sword sworn to defend your life. Can Sir Malentine be trusted? He is a knight of the King's Guard. He'll do his duty. Yes, I think he will. Oh, we need to uh, deploy Dragon in the battle quickly. Dracarys, as we're not going to win that battle. Sir Andron is burnt and uh, severely burnt and pushed back. Storm King Boris Baratheon of the Stormland tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames and was severely burnt. Does that mean he's going to die maybe then? Will he die from the burns? No, he's managed to survive from the burns, which I wasn't expecting. We've managed to win with our 250 men, thanks to our dragon. Your Grace, I will honour my allegiance and take up arms to defend you. House Kellington, awesome. Got a lot of wars going on. We're losing a couple of them just because we've not sieged any of their land yet. So we really need to get a move on in sieging a lot of this land. Where's our Where's our men gone? Have they uh, lost that battle and been pushed back? And um, we're not leading that army, are we? Yeah, we are. So why can't we deploy a dragon in the battle? got no we've got literally no men ah we've got a thousand men up here but we're not gonna be able to do we're not got anyone commanding that army 
at the moment. So, yeah, we've literally got none of our own men. And we've got no money to hire men. So, it's literally in the hands of people on our side. But we have won the war against the Bracken. So, we'll offer peace and enforce demands. Yes. The War of Southstone Independence is ended. Queen Rhaenyra of the Iron Throne has won. So, we should be able to claim his... Did we claim the High Lordship? Have we claimed the High Lordship for that land? Can we take it away from him? Visit Chambers. I love how we can do that. Uh, yeah, we're at war at the moment though, aren't we? So we can't... I think I'm going to give it to the Bracken. Uh, the Blackwoods just out of spite to House Bracken. So we won that war, which is good. We need another ambition. Uh, let's go with have a daughter, see if we can get ourselves a daughter. It would be nice to have a daughter. Nettles has died, causing her dragon sheep stealer to fly into a... Re oh, great. Died in the dungeons of Lord Laris of Harrenhal. Something must be done. The war has been won. The rebel armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. Lord Humphrey Bracken, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear the judgment. I demand his head, as well as all the Bracken lands. Let him bend the knee. Send him to the dungeon. He will forfeit Southstone. I demand his head as well as all Bracken lands. And then I'll give it back to his son. Oh, it's gone to the Tullys though, which is annoying. I wanted it for myself, but he will. Oh, what do we do with you? Heir to the Lordship of Goodbrook. He will be beheaded for his treason. And Bruce Bracken has arrived in our court. That must be his son. Yep, so we'll keep him as our prisoner for now, as, as our hostage. We've got all the Brackens arrived in our court, so we'll have a look into those later. We can probably um, land them at some point. So is House Tully actually kept Stonehead? Yes, yeah, so I want to get that back eventually. Give it to the Brackens, but not as a High Lord. I wanted to give it to his son, if anything. Right, so we've got 300 men here. Can we get the fleet ever to save those 300 men if they're the only men that we've got? We'll lead it ourselves at least so we have a dragon rider over there. We're winning against the Lannisters. Winning. Wow, we're losing heavily against the High Towers, which is not good. Not good at all. Can we offer peace? White peace? I highly doubt it. But we can't get down there to sway it, really, because they're here. Unless we march over and deploy the dragon but i don't think we're going to be able to which is really annoying that we're now going to lose to the high towers do you know what let's march on them and see if we can deploy the dragon it's the only hope that we've really got of trying to end this war with the high towers quickly hopefully we can before they win because they're at 97 percent, so we need to do something we need to make sure we push the high towers back Damn it, I've been too slow. Deploy dragon in battle, Dracaris. See what we can do. So, Brynden Hightower tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames and was severely burnt. Lord Ormond Hightower of Old Town was tried to slay your dragon and was beaten back by the flames and burnt to a crisp. So, he's going to die now, which is awesome. But we're losing 100%, which is annoying. Willis tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames and burnt. One of the Red Winds... Lord Ormond Hightower of Old Town tried to slay your dragon and was severely burnt. So we managed to burn a lot of them, but unfortunately have lost that battle, meaning we've lost the war to the old uh, to the High Towers, which is very annoying. Betrothed Camara, Joffrey Valerion, and Sanzara Tala. Yes, there we go. Very annoying that we've lost that battle. We can't call up any. Oh, we can call up some men here. Sixty-seven men. <laughs> Damon. Uh, to the most excellent Queen Rhaenyra, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Right, we're going to have to bring the fleet back over here. What other commander? We need to get some new commanders, some new dragon riders as commanders. Um, Adam Valerian. Um, duh, 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 duh. Darren, our half-brother, who was obviously on the side of our usurping brother, but now he's one of our commanders, so we'll make use of him as he's a dragon rider. Where are our sons as they're all dragon riders? We do have a siege leader here, though, so we'll use him. It's always good to have a siege leader. Um, what other decent commanders have we got? A defender and a dutiful commander. Holy warrior and a skilled commander, so we'll use him. Um, have we got anyone else decent? Not really. 
a, a dutiful commander. You'll do. And have we got anyone else half decent? Incompetent, incompetent, a dutiful commander and a direct leader. So we'll go with you, even though you absolutely hate us. We'll go with Adam Valerian. There we go. Wait for the ships to come and fetch us so we can try and do something somewhere. I don't know what, as we're going to lose the high tower war. Uh, yes, it's in everyone's concern as we're desperate for money. We might be able to still do something against the high towers. Who knows? Your Grace Lord Alan has sent your customary amount. 50 gold. Perfect. We're desperate for that. There we go. We've won that. Let's get on. Let's get our 67 men with our dragon. Let's go see if we can uh, <laughs> win that fight somehow. We might be able to. Who knows? This time I'll make sure I slow it down when we dot. No, there we go. The War of Old Town Independence has ended. Queen Rhaenyra of the Iron Throne has lost. Okay, that's fine. We'll win. We'll, we'll get you back when we need to. Awesome. Jacarius Valerian has gained the skilled commander trait, which is awesome. Let's go down to Storm's End then and get Storm's End under siege quickly and end the war there. Your Grace, I will honour my allegiance and take up arms. House Steadman. Awesome. That's good news. So we've got someone on our side at least. But I think we're going to have to take these rebellions into the next episode where we'll carry on trying to take down these traitorous houses thank you all so much for watching as always i really do appreciate it i hope that you've enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for the next episode